Hey guys, Derek here from Addictive Tips. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up the Swift programming language on Linux from Apple. So in this video, we'll be covering the snap instructions because it's the most straightforward, it's the easiest method, and virtually everybody can use snaps. Like there's nothing stopping 99% of Linux users from using snap. So to start off, open up a terminal and let's go to the snap website. If you go to the store, you can type in Swift, uh, if I spelt it right. <laughs> Got a little ahead of myself there, but you see we have the Swift programming language package here and we have the Swift language here. There are a couple packages, they both are the same. I would say that I've had more luck with this one and less luck with this one, but you can do both. And uh, in the article I talk about how you can get it working. So to get Swift installed, you can look at here we've got a bunch of different options and we also see you know it's the same thing for these the updates are sporadic happen every once in a while if you want to install it you can click the install button and copy it here you can also go to the terminal and you can do snap search swift and that will return the same bonus search results that we got on the website and uh, let's install the swift language package excuse me the swift lf uh, Arujo package. So we can do sudo snap install. So like I said, there are like three different snap snaps of Swift. So whatever one you want to use, they're all the same version, but whatever you feel most comfortable with, you can install. Now, I'm not a developer, but I know how snaps work. And uh, if you go and try and install this, it's going to tell you that there are different options here. So we can do Swift beta, we can do Swift candidate, and we can do Swift edge. So let me do Swift beta for this one. So it's going to download from the channel here. It should take a couple of minutes, so I will be right back. All right, so the package is almost installed. Now when it finishes, it's going to set everything up and set up the security profiles and connect everything to your system. So now everything is ready to go and you can use Swift. Now again, if you have issues with uh, you know, if you have issues with this one, you can install this one, you can install this one. There are three options through the Snap Store alone, and there are also are releases on Apple's website, which you can find in the description below. So that is how you get Swift working on Linux. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you in the next one. <laughs>